Steve here. I'm going to show you how I uh, do the gears in here for the diff. So I'm going to take this apart and I'll show you the, everything I do step by step. Okay, I got everything disassembled. I got the gearbox off. Next I'll be getting into the gearbox. I have the whole gearbox apart and here's the parts. Right here you have to degrease two axles in the holes here. Degrease the whole differential unit in the side bevel gears. Put them in like a container and I'm going to use some uh, electric motor cleaner spray and, and degrease everything. I have everything in the container ready to be degreased. I wipe the gears off first with a tissue to get most of the grease off. But you want to get the grease out of this part in the axle where the pin rides in so degrease them also on both of them and I'm gonna spray this just in there like that try to clean off the gears and then I'll switch it around like that till all the grease comes off it's hard for me to show you this here, but with the degreaser fluid, you could use a little brush. You may want to put gloves on your hands so you don't have to touch it. But you could get the grease off the gears. See that? And you just go in. And that gets the grease off. You do that. And then when everything's degreased, I'll take them out and spray them once more real quick with the degreaser to get everything off of them. Then I'll be ready to uh, put the new grease on and assemble it. You gotta make sure you get the axles clean, so I put that in there and shake it around. Use the brush. Get the grease out of the little pin area there. It's gonna be hard to get that out. But you gotta do it because this is a main component that will make it work better. Alright. Alright, now I have everything out here. Let's see if I can get this in focus. I have everything out now. There you go. What I do is with the spray, I blast everything. A little blast. And then you get this. And you get the whole air cleaned out. Alright, so that's it. It's all degreased. Now I just let that dry and then I'll go on to the next step. Alright, everything's degreased and dried now. And what I do is I apply Tamiya anti-wear grease on all these parts. And uh, what it does, it makes it act like more like an oil filled diff. I used it on my other Tamiyas and they're still working great. But I'm going to show you where uh, you got to apply the grease. You got to put a dab in each one of these axle holes coat every pin every metal pin you gotta coat give a coat around each of these bevel gears and also coat all three of these smaller bevel gears here is all the gears coated with the uh, anti-wear grease you don't need a lot, just make sure you do this like that. And also, a trick I do is I coat the axles with a little bit of normal grease. And also, the gearbox, you could go with a bead of grease around the outside edge so it seals the dirt out. I also do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together and show you guys how it works. Just a quick note here. You don't want to use this anti-wear grease on none of the normal gears, only the inside bevels because it's so sticky it'll make your motor burn up. Anyhow, I'm going to coat this with the regular grease now and put it back and show you how it works. Alright, 
she's all finished and put back together now before you run your car after putting that anti-wear grease on there just just turn it the diff make sure the grease gets spread nice on everything let's do this for a little while anyway before doing the diff it's finished now and here's the difference remember how this spun last time now here's the after effect it'll loosen up a little bit but I did this on my other cars and it works really good I ran them like 10 times and it's still working nicely so you really don't need to put that much grease I had on mine you could use a little less and use like if you actually wanted you could use a hard bristle paintbrush like a little one and you could just smear a thin coating on the gears if you want but this should this looks like it works really good you'll see the difference when you ride your buggy or car with this on the open diff it'll get much better traction because with these cars usually you sit there one time this will help it pull now and get you out of a situation you would normally get stuck in so anyhow I'm just gonna put this back together I gotta change the plug on here because my buddy used the uh, Traxxas plugs and I use the Dean's ones and I'll be uh, ready to run this beauty <laughs> beauty anyway <laughs> See you next time. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye.